And from Sky 6, those neighborhoods just destroyed in the panhandle. Not much is left after Michael roared through the Panama City area. Neighbors there now have the tough and difficult task of cleaning up. News 6's Nadine Yanis lived and worked in Panama City. She spoke with some of her friends and survivors today. It's surreal to me. That's Nadine, it's, it's surreal. From a rest stop in South Carolina, retired police officer Jeff Becker can't wait to get back home to Panama City, especially after these new images show the devastation. The Winn Dixie store down the street from me, it's gone. And his house is now gone too. Well, I'm homeless. Becker was on a hunting trip this week as the storm approached. It was a category two, I believe, at the time. And you know, we've been through those. But his son in his 30s stayed behind, calling Becker from the bathroom as Hurricane Michael hit. He was so scared. Excuse me a second. He had to write his social security on his arm because he thought he was going to die. On the phone, Becker could hear the windows in his home shatter, the door to the interior bathroom barely stained shut. They stayed on the phone until service cut out. It wasn't long after he got these pictures. His RV, which was parked in the driveway, was picked up and dropped about six feet. But to me, that's just, it's mind numbing that that thing could be moved. His home flooded, his valuables all gone. But for Becker, none of that matters. I'd like to get through this and know that uh, <clears throat> what the future holds. Because, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. I've never been through anything like this. So Becker's hoping to make it home tonight. He says his son is okay, his family's okay, and the only thing he wants to do is give his son and his wife a hug. Now, he's one of many folks from Panama City I spoke with today. We're going to hear another story of survival from a mom who hid in her bathtub with her three-year-old daughter tonight at 6. And Lisa, Matt, like I said, this is where I started my TV career. This is the mm -hmm. essence of a true southern town where neighbors help neighbors, and it's hard to get there. It's about an hour from the interstate, and so they're all relying on each other right now, and it just breaks my heart to hear stories And that's like the this. challenge with these storms. They are so unpredictable. As he said, they've been through storms in the past, Haven't but we obviously all? nothing yeah, like this. Yeah, never seen something yeah. like that yeah. monster. All right, Nadine, thank, thank you. Thank you guys so much.